Good morning, welcome back to the channel. First video of 2023. The weather has been horrendous and very much against me, so today has been really the first opportunity where we've got lovely blue skies. It's cold, uh, it's barely above freezing and it was really frosty last night. So I've decided to come somewhere I've not been before and that is Martin May. Martin May is a, um, a wetlands and wildlife trust centre um, and hopefully we've got lots of opportunity to see a variety of different birds um, some of which we may have seen before, some of which you know we've seen many times before, but hopefully we might get a different kind of shot. So come along for the journey and see what we see. Oh, yeah, I forgot my wellies and I always drive in my Crocs. So today I'm in my Crocs. So first impressions is there's quite a lot to see. Um, there's obviously an area that's just behind me here that's closed and I'm assuming that's avian flu, which is a shame because I think that's where the stalks are and that was one of the things I quite enjoyed, uh, that, that quite looked forward to photographing. Um, but we've got two Eurasian short clawed otters, um, not Eurasian, Asian short clawed ot otters, not the ones that I would photograph in, in Mull. These are a little bit smaller, um, but they're certainly proving to be interesting subjects to photograph. And, and they're very entertaining as they're playing and rolling around. Um, I'll pop it up on screen now so you can see. So we've been walking around now for probably about half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and you certainly can get some photographs of some quite unique species. Um, but at the minute, it feels a little bit like a zoo in that they're in enclosures and they can't escape the enclosures. Some of the, the birds are completely wild, but some of them are captured captive birds. So as long as that doesn't pose you any issues, it's a fantastic place and it certainly gives you some different um, experiences that we've not had before. Well, we've just, it's hit two o'clock and they do a feeding session where they put out seed in front of one of the hides. And to say it was a spectacle is an understatement. Um, thousands upon thousands of birds, uh, whooper swans in their hundreds, shell ducks in their hundreds, pintails, poachards or potchards, absolutely incredible. 
and a really fantastic opportunity to get some uh, photographs of birds in flight. Um, I didn't do too much video just because I was in my absolute element of, uh, of getting the photographs but my wife has, she, she's got the GoPro, I got a GoPro for Christmas so that was going the majority of the time while I was taking photographs. So hopefully I've got something for you to see and I'll pop it up on the screen now, enjoy. So we're at the Ron Barker Hyde. Um, this is right up at the, the top end and it overlooks something called Owl Marsh. So I've no doubt that perhaps um, a little bit later on maybe there might be owls appearing here. But actually it's been a really successful hide for the short space of time that we've been here because we've seen marsh harrier, we've seen several swans flying across, uh, heron flying across, um, egret, so it's, you know, it's a really, really productive area for lots and lots of birds. Um, and, and the hides aren't, aren't massively packed. I mean, it is in, we, we are still in January and it is bitterly cold. So that's perhaps put a lot of people off, but it's been a fantastic place to come and take some photographs, particularly of birds in flight, some, some really good opportunities for that. So that brings an end to today's video. Uh, I've already just met with somebody who, who watches my videos. I love meeting people who watch the videos. If you ever see me out in the field, make sure you come along and say hello. Pardon? Dennis. Dennis, that's exactly what he's called, Dennis. So thanks for coming and saying hello, Dennis. I really appreciate it. So Martin May, would I come back to Martin May? A hundred percent. You definitely get opportunities at Martin May that you don't get at other places around the world. 
other, other parts of the country. I've seen some birds today that I've not seen before and had some fantastic opportunities for some birds in flight. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider giving us a subscribe. Um, if you've not clicked like, click a like for this video. Uh, and if you want to drop me a comment, drop a comment below. I respond to all the comments that I get. Until next time, ta -ra.